Boss this out because she's out a ton of damage. Uh, basically, take a full stop. Especially against Ike, knowing his slow, sort of brawny nature. But the thing is, is that where Fox has speed, Ike has range and strength. And that can make up for everything. I feel like uh, just kind of sharking there at the beginning. Not really getting too much off it. Here he goes now. Starting something really heavy. Oh, that actually could be really bad. <laughs> Someone said Uma's about to eat the anime sword. You forgot a couple of words, but that's fine. Oh, ooh, slick. Okay. A little bit airborne. Coming off of that stock. You gotta be careful. Nice. I'm Tomahawk is like it doesn't describe it. It's just like a fade. I don't know why I just call it a fade. Because you could jump and you fade back. Oh, uh, I thought he was going to back throw him. He's, he's out for the damage. Understandable. Just grab. Ooh. Grab street. BG Master, right about the uh, the anime comment. He's eating the sword right now. Without a doubt. 84% leaves him. If he gets his angle shot by the four tilt, it's already done. Or that. Oh, where I had a high percentage. I got his grab bar shot right now. Why is everyone playing off the What's up? Off Every the stage? Yeah, everyone's playing off the stage. It's like. It's simple, it's Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I'm sorry, people feel like I think I'm just. Oh, he's not dead? Oh, wait, never Ooh, mind. Okay. Okay, so we're two stocks, two stocks. 24 0. Ooh, I mean, climbing. Ooh, one, but I'm not going to. Yeah. I feel like they're both playing pretty solid. Um, no one's really taking it. I almost thought he just killed himself, and I feel like if it was melee, he actually would have. I don't know. Yeah, that's that back there. Going up from the top platform. Nope, went low. Morbo was opting to really hold center stage there, and he was doing a pretty good job in there, just able to just kind of put through his uh, his offensive option. And now he's got going. Dying exactly the same percent as last off. So one stop and one stop. Yup. He's gonna go high. Uh, he just missed. Unfortunately, missed that drop. It's really ambiguous. And that's out of here. Okay. Last stop. Nair. Nair. There and I don't think I think his jump was. Oh, that's it. Yeah. That was a finisher. Yeah. That was intense. Yeah, it was. Everyone was fly flying like off the platform, and it's like, it's like, freaking. What, what what's it called? Like Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. Talking about the, Cirque the du circus, Soleil yeah. Smash. They're like. <laughs> I'm surprised that actually hasn't been a theme for a tournament. To be honest. But, and this is a grabbing streak. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Ooh. He's. Oh, I thought he was gone. Oh. Yeah. That's it. Oh. It's really rough. If he had dipped lower for a second, uh, he could have messed up uh, Uma's timing. And possibly have kept that stock. Oh no! That was really hard because Uma rode that wall. Out of that. that was cool. Ooh, ooh. Grabbing legs. Oh! Okay, so we're at three stocks, three stocks. 60%. Still. That percentage climbing up though. Oh, I thought he would turn around and grab him. He should definitely just probably go for like a quick kill because nice oh, wait out. So if you notice the stage goes from day to night, oh. that's not normal for this stage. Man, I really love this. Ooh, that was that amazing was... DI. At, oh wow, 131. Oh no, he could have just back here. Oh, well, he still got him. Ooh. Nope. Smash DI, nope, he's dead. 154. Sharking. This is what he does at the beginning. Gets a start up. Not gonna want to get Ooh. shine. That was 
option first. I like the retreat option. It's very interesting. Not something that I don't think I'm really expecting. Retreat it back to me. Back to ledge again. I'm doing a great job with these cross ups, and that's what's like here. Ooh, high percentage is racking up those numbers. I still really feel like you get really just off. Ooh, is it? Is it? No, it was close, but this might be it because. Uh oh, Ooh. Uh oh, he caught him. There's a bear. Oh, he's not there. there. I guess he's there. He wanted to kill. Ooh. Okay. Knowing that he really wants to get in there, that's definitely. Yeah. That was great DI though. <laughs> I just wasn't gonna save him. Yeah. Oh no! He tried to catch him with a. Uh... Oh well, that's still out of there. Okay, now we're even. Now we're even. So guys, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I guess whoever's doing the scoreboard hasn't updated yet, but uh, Uma is. Uh, he won game one, so he closes it out. That's the end of this set. 2-0, but seems like Warpool is still in there, hanging on, but he's definitely on the ropes. Oh, that's a good thing, but he's still okay. Ooh. They do a great job being confident. They do a great job using all the platforms, too. They're not, you know. Yeah, I definitely feel, at least for the most part, uh, I feel like Vorpal. Oh, no. Oh, never mind. He's still okay. Ooh, we're at the high percentages now. Yeah, we really are. And a matter of fact, both of them can end up... Eyed in and should be eyed out. Mm. That's a good set. I think I possibly play. Like <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, it's three out of five. It's three out of five. Okay. A so Uma now up two games to Warple zero. Warple has to put himself in the scoreboard. Um, and as of right now, I really feel like Uma has definitely gotten the confidence. Stop sharking. Now she gets in and up a ton of damage. Way more aggressive than the last game. Warp will now have to play on the defensive. He finally gets something started. Gets a nice reverse pair. Barely missed the uh, first match, but that's going to be a stop. Is it? Oh. Because he was dying at 117, so 137 could definitely be out of the picture. Warble taking his time to really think about this stock and his last game of the set possibly. Catching him. Oh, out of Ooh, 110. Shield. Is he gone? Is he gone? Oh, he's gone. Okay. Alright, so I feel like Warble kind of caught on to the fact that, uh, no jump. Warble really Ooh. kind of caught on to the fact for a second that uh, Uma really wanted to get in on him just by that short hop jump and he was just dancing in a bay and Warble get that kill in a good setup. Slipped right through that up air. I feel like that was more of Uma's time. Try to DI out, but not enough to save him. Down a full stock at this point. Alright, catches him running back in. Doesn't get the down smash, but doesn't lose too much off of it either. Mason stays controlled, still in the neutral. Nice grab. He's put a lot of pressure on him though. That's making, that's forcing uh, Uma to really think about how he's going to approach. Probably, possibly can slow down the game for uh, a little bit. But I do get the feeling that Uma's starting to pick up with these uh, air approaches from uh, Oh, okay, so we're kind of eating on uh, one stop. Gets in there, ready for the box and whatever it's going. Actually, somebody want to tell me, maybe I just forgot it's so long ago. Um, oh no, he put himself out there. That could have been bad. That was risky. It still is. Waiting for him. Getting this damage. Using Shine to keep uh, Borba from doing a quick draw grab. Amazing sense of the enemies that have Spot dodges instead of rolling. I like it because he kept his position. What is happening? Was that on accident? I'm sure that was on accident. That's it. Uh, Ooh. He should have just shielded. Uh, he's still alive. He's, he's Impeccable back. Impeccable DI this time. Yeah. He's not he's back. back. He's not back. Oh, he. Okay, I mean, he is back, but it, I thought he was about to get Oh, he's going to close out the stock. Possibly. Yep. Ooh. Here we go. But at 141. Warble definitely being careful, getting scooped up by that up smash. 
All right, reach in there with that uh, dash attack. Definitely just wants to get in there. You can feel Uma is not feeling confident in a pro player approach. He's been getting called out a lot of uh, by Warple getting his uh, there. There, anti air going on. Ooh, that was beautiful. Turn We're around. at high percentages now. We're all. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Now that's 2 1. Yeah. 2 1. Uh, in this favor right now. But should, we one. should ask them. Uh, yeah. Two, um, two. Yeah, if you could just tell them 2 2 Uma, 1 Warp. Yeah. yeah, so how have you guys been doing? It's been a long time since I've seen a few of all. I believe it's been like seven months since I came to the last SG and the last one I came to was uh, the uh, Halloween special and then the last tournament I went to. Three, two, one, go! Alright, so freak that. We came back into the set. The PS2, those quick fills up top with Fox. That's why I assume we're going to go here. Already starting off strong. Opting for the up air, hopefully in the back air, but doesn't get it. I, I'm not feeling these like Uma's going out with bear stuff. I feel like one of these points with him doing, I don't know, he's doing like weird bear stuff to the side of stage, and I feel like all it takes is for one mess up, and then he's lost stage control. And that's everything we fall. Warpool's no, already at three digits right now. He is, but he's still making this, he's still making something happen here. Up smash? No. There, got it. But it's not that bad. Um, Warpool is only like not really far in the back behind. Close now, three digits. And that's his dog. All right. Now we're kind of well, well, you've been you beautiful up air catches him. It's now netting him pretty good Ooh. punish. Up tilt. Wait for it. We couldn't get it. Okay. Now we're dancing in the air again. Well. Ooh, they were waiting. Well, yeah, he was definitely was waiting. waiting. Expecting his face to the ledge. Definitely wanted to go Ooh. out there and get more. He just couldn't. Tried to save for the jump. Three digits. Come nice on. wait out. Knew it was coming. Move back. Okay. Punished accordingly. All right. Ooh, is it? Is it? Yeah. That's bad. <laughs> like, that was a bad situation. He's looking for the out smash. And Corporal needs to. Still amazing DI. He's, he's coming back. He's, he's back. Oh. Is he? Yeah, he is. And he's going to make the most of it too right now. All right. The, actually, jumping over that shine is what saved him. Messing up his DI by getting that uh, uh, turnaround uh, grab. That's spacing. That's spacing. Okay. Yeah, clean out the spot. Warble is playing solid right now. Um, I'm assuming Uma's plan of being able to get those quick kills off the top, since that's what he was getting in the other games, is kind of at a loss right now. Uh, Warble definitely kind of has that feel now for when uh, he wants to get it out of the mares. The Sharking game is completely stopped for the most part, and the cross-up game not seeing his delay special. And that's pretty good. Yeah. He's thinking about his move again. Good. Nice. Ooh. He's kind of weighing him out. Smart. Warble definitely knowing right now that it's he's in Uma's mind, not the other way around. He's brought us in the game. Right, so Ooh. Out. Beautiful. Right on the tip. Wow. Right. Uma. Two. Oh, wait. So now. Yeah, two one. Two two. Two. Oh, yeah, two two. Uma is definitely in the seat of pressure. Up by two games. Now, his last game, we decided to play Three, one, go! Lovely save from Warpool. Um, he's gonna be able to get a lot of disjointed, uh, a lot of disjointed uh, approaches and pressure from the platform like right there. Making the most of it. Already up a stock. This is definitely looking like a complete reversal uh, in regards to how this set first started. Right. Warpool's definitely got a feel for it, He's using those platforms to his advantage, knowing that he can't outrun Fox, but he can probably vertically, uh, you know, just try to work faster, and make the most of his options. All right, yeah, he wants to jump there. He has locked himself into the option. Ooh, ooh. Are we? Ooh, my gosh. Nice, amazing jab reaction to counter that. He was in a poor position. Um, and Here we go. Now we're even. Yeah. So. Oh. Uh, he didn't get the L cancel, so that didn't mean too much. Yep. Rolls it. Oh, 
Hopefully he's not gonna be tricking himself or choosing to go for something. I, I just feel like um, earlier on in the games made me want to close it out a little bit faster by being a little bit less actually less aggressive. Because for the most part, what Warpler has caught on to is his uh, his uh, short hop uh, approach options. He is making the most out of that. Was actually beautiful. Down a star. As the eye, I kind of feel like you know, to some degree, he's not looking nearly as keen or as sharp. But he's definitely trying to make the most of it. But Warpler is here to say, like, there's not, there's no way you're coming back. We're almost even. Okay, we're even now. Well, with one stock. Yeah. Okay, just happened to miss that uh, bear. And gosh, back to get the jab. And that's it. Man. I mean, seriously, this, set, this whole set is actually completely reversed in regards to confidence and just overall. Ooh. Ooh. But really, you know, I don't want to say it's confidence. I really just think, uh, for the most part, Oracle has kind of caught on to us. Uh, his approaches. Alright, maybe we're gonna take any time to take a breather. Uh, nice, jump. Goes in. Oh. nice use of up tilt, keeping him from chasing him down. Using it to stop, like, as a wall. Oh, that guy. He has not gone to the ledge since, like, game one with the, uh, with the uh, side beat. That is actually cost him several stocks and a game. He really wants to go for it. He definitely knows that it's important. That's it. No jump. Oh, he had a jump. No, that's it. Oh. Oh. Man, Uma was up. This game's winner is...